been a while since I made a video, not because uh, there hasn't been things to show, but just mainly we've been working so hard. So having a look, you can start to see now wet screen two fits below the balcony. <coughs> so the um, structure is in there and the walls have gone up. You can see the steels that hold the whole thing up. And there's 150 millimetres of insulation already in there with a plasterboard behind. Another layer of plasterboard to go on behind and then the same wall to build again in front. Um, when you put the radio on on the site, you can barely hear it from one end to the other already. Um, so that shows that that's going to work. And then uh, you can see around the back of it. So this, is, this will be the corridor to come out of the main auditorium, back into the reception. So it's mostly insulated on, one, on the one wall. This is the corridor to go into screen two. And the door for screen two is here. And as you go into screen two, we're doing the uh, wiring looms are going in with uh, all the Cat6 and mains cables to control everything. And then you see that there's the first plasterboard wall up with wires sticking through for the speakers and the lights. They're going to go in here. So this is screen two. It's really quiet in here. The acoustics really, the acoustic solution really does work. So back wall isn't yet boarded because we're still putting the wires in. But that's what you see. That's, the, that's, the, that's one wall of insulation, which has two boards on it. And then as I say, there's a repeat of that. Then there's been some work in the reception area a little bit. Actually, mainly work going on in the reception area. Um, but the ceilings have been put in. Well, the frames for them have been put in. So lovely high ceilings, higher than we had before. This is the ceiling in what was the store cupboard. And is now going to be the uh, kiosk area. Uh, I've got the kiosk marked out on the floor. Thanks to David, who's designed it for us with fridges and freezers and curved frontage and shelving at the back, all of which will hopefully be in in two months' time. And then I swing around this side. The original toilet block is going to be a bit dark in here. The original toilets at the front here are still here. And one of them is going to be the male toilet and one the female. And they've got the lovely windows on them. Uh, if you want one here. Lovely ladies cloakroom. So four of our toilets in the cinema are going to be unisex, including the disabled one, excuse me. <coughs> and then two of them are one for men and one for ladies. So everybody gets the toilets of their choice. Um, and then going upstairs, Lawrence has been working hard today, preparing and plastering the new sort of lobby area at the top of the stairs. So instead of going just straight into the cinema, we've reduced the projection room in size a little bit. Now we only need one projector in the digital age and added that space onto the hallway. So if I go into the projection room now and look back, you'll see there's a lovely big hallway space here, which we'll be able to make it to something very nice for people arriving at the top of the stairs. Uh, that's a little about it, although there's been little work on the balcony. So over at the back of the balcony here, where the wiring is going through the wall, and we're just about to <coughs> prepare the floor for the uh, air plant air processing plant which is just sitting next to where it will finally end up at the back of the balcony. But all in all, loads of progress, still loads to do, but it does feel like things are moving on so that's good.